Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, thread a bobbin on the Genome HD 1000. So first you take the thread and you have to hook it onto this. You can see it's on there. And then we go around that and then you want to make sure you thread it up through if I can grab it onto the top part here so that the thread is coming out of the top and then you slide the bobbin over and then just let the string hang off. Then over here on the side, move this out of the way for a second. See this dial here? It's, right now it's turned all the way over toward, well, towards my wall at the moment. Now I'm gonna hold this top here in the place and twist this over until like, I feel it kinda get slightly stuck. See, so like it's now it doesn't want to turn as much. I'll leave it there. And we're going to come back around here. I'm going to hold this string up in the air. And I'm going to just go ahead and press on the presser foot. Oh, wait, got to turn the machine on. That helps. Got to get the foot where I want it first. Turn the machine on. And my presser foot on the machine down here is up, it's not down. And press and once I've got a good amount done I'm gonna get my scissors and just cut this top little string off and just have it keep threading and it'll automatically stop once it's full. stopped on its own. Okay, and pull it back over, lift it up, and you want to cut about a tail of about four inches off of the little bobbin thread. So see I have a little tail hanging off of it. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to, there we go part off and then let's see if I can get in and see if it'll sorry uh, you gotta work with me I'm, I'm adjusting I'm looking as I go so okay so here's this part this is the important part so you want see how the bobbin thread is going this way so this this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise. And see how this is going counterclockwise? That's the important part. So you're gonna stick this in counterclockwise. Now, oops, this is gonna go in this notch here and you're gonna keep pulling that string until it falls and it's in this like little like rectangle here. Now, once it's in there, you're gonna go ahead and put your bobbin back in until it latches in place. So let's see if I can get it so you can see. So now my bobbin is latched in place. Okay, now I'm gonna take this string and I'm gonna 
put it up above there. I'm going to close this. I'm going to swipe all that fuzzies off. So that was also the one downside is that this sewing machine didn't come with a brush like all my other sewing machines did. So I got my little one from my, one I think is from my actual, my Kenmore machine, not my Singer. Brush this one off on the outside here too. Okay, and before you can do anything else, you gotta come back around here. See, because it's still down here. You're gonna hold the top and you gotta twist it back until it locks in place. Because now that's gonna let your now it's gonna lock your needle so your needle's gonna move because while you were winding your bobbin, the needle wasn't actually moving. So now we're gonna thread. So before that, I wanna make sure this part is sticking up. So now we're gonna thread. So it's we're gonna go over there. And then this is the part that it's gonna go underneath here first. Then it's gonna go right up alongside that. And then you're gonna go back and you're gonna hook it right so it's hooked right onto here. And then it's gonna go down and you're gonna hook it right onto here. So first you hooked it onto here, then it went down up here onto this inside, then right back around here and then right around here then here, so it goes into this, and you want to have some excess string, and you're going to pull it around, and let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this side one right here that you hook it onto, and then the last part is you thread it. There's supposed to be some like needle thread on this machine, you know, I can't get it to work, so we just do it by hand. <laughs> Especially because I'm much faster doing it by hand than I am doing it <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> I will sit here for like an hour or more trying to get this to work and you saw just how fast I did it right now. <laughs> so no needle threader. <laughs> and then I just hold the string and then I just kind of do that and then I hold it this way and then I just And now you have both strings. And you just put that on and voila.